Hi guys, how you all doing? I'm sitting in an Aston Martin DB11 and of course I'm listening to Bond songs on the stereo. This is the bit where you all come to me and then you say, guys, you've got the best job in the world. That's, this is the messages that I get all the time. This is what people tell me all the time. The truth is very different. And I have written extensively about this and uh, you know, you would be wise if you're thinking about going along these lines to first of all uh, read uh, the pieces that I've written about why you should not become a motoring journalist and uh, I'll put the links somewhere around this video um, but a lot of you persist you know I get messages several times a week you know asking us for jobs or asking us for internship or asking just to tag along or asking advice on how to get started and stuff like that and despite my best interest to dissuade you and to put you off this route uh, and, and explicitly tell you why you still want to do it so okay you know what let's talk about this let's let's tell you how you should do it and there's a couple of different routes here right because things have changed as, you, as I've said many times before and then there's the so to start with there's a traditional route so if you say I want to be a motoring journalist and there's a traditional route into that well basically if you want to be a motoring journalist you first have to put the word on uh, emphasis on the word journalist, not motoring. So first of all, to be a motoring journalist, you first have to be a journalist. This is the main thing. And a, a lot of us professional motoring journalists, we've been through the grind. We've worked through newspapers. I mean, I've done everything. I've done field reporting. I've done uh, journals. I've done books. Uh, I've done newspapers. I've done feature stories. I've covered music. I've covered events. I've covered religion. I've covered politics. I've done interviews. I've done all of that. I've worked at every level of media, right down to taking newspapers uh, to go and get bromides done and then taking the bromides to the printers and then dealing with the printers and then picking up the newspapers or, or doing subscription uh, sales or uh, sending them off or even doing deliveries when you work on a small newspaper, you have to do everything. So that process of starting off as a reporter, then as a uh, features writer, then as a staff writer, then as a uh, sub editor, then as an assistant editor, as a deputy editor, and, and as an editor, you know, taught me a lot of things along the way. And, and I think that is crucial. Now, I'm not saying that you necessarily need to go and do a journalism uh, degree, a journalism course would be sufficient. I am of the belief that, you know, hands on, you'll learn more than you will learn in a degree, but certainly it would help. And, and certainly some sort of media degree would help, but not necessarily. One uh, fantastic editor once told me uh, that you don't need to get a media degree, but get a degree in your specialist subject. So therefore you can be an expert in that subject and then you can still become a journalist, writer, commentator, etc. So for example, if you want to be a motoring journalist, um, then perhaps one of the things you could do is uh, go and do an engineering degree in automotive you know and I tell you what the advantage of that is that, that gives you a couple of options you know because if you, the journalism thing or the writing thing doesn't work out you've got something to fall back on you've got uh, an ability a skill set a qualification to fall back on and if this does work out then this stuff gives you credibility you know uh, and, and you can write about engineering and dynamics and stuff maybe better than people like me and I've been doing this for a very long time but I don't have that engineering background so that's a traditional route of motoring journalism but now, of course, everything has changed. And now we have uh, a new type of uh, automotive commentator. Shall we? Okay, I want to use the word influencer. Come on, all right. Influencer, commentator, call them what you will. There's a lot of people that are doing YouTube, that are doing Instagram, that are doing Snapchat, that are doing all of these things. And, you know, they are providing content when it comes to automotive. You know, and the reality is, again, you know, all the people that, uh, that's one route now from where to start and all the people that contact us and say can I get a job can I get that's like what have you done you know if you were in the traditional journalistic background you'd have to have a portfolio before you went to an editor and said can I have a job you have to show them what you've done similarly now in this new environment where you know writing and this may be in certain media sectors like even now in Moting Middle East we're entirely digital may not be so important then you have to show you have to show demonstrable skills in being able to create digital content and how can you do that? Oh, I can't do that. I have no job. I have no car. I have no facility. You have everything. You all have one of these. You all have a smartphone. That's all you need. 
this 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 thing could make you famous right there. You you don't even need people like me. You don't even need a job necessarily if you manage to master this. So use your phone. Get onto Instagram. Start putting up content. You don't have a car? Review your mate's car. Review your dad's car. Review the family car. Create some content. Create something interesting. Create something that people are going to go, oh, that's really fun, interesting, entertaining. Do that. That'll get you noticed. You may not even have to go out there and ask for jobs. But you may get noticed. People go, hey, you know what? This guy's really cool. He creates some cool content. This is the way to do it. Skill sets that you may require. Certainly, you need to know, master all of the social media, you know, and, you know, and it ain't hard. A little bit of practice, a little bit of playing, and also stay on top of it. Read about the latest trends in social media. Uh, go onto all of those websites that tell you about what's going on, what the new things coming, what are the latest techniques, you know, and other skills, you know, these, kind of, these smartphones are fantastic, but, you know, there's still nothing that yet replaces a DSLR. Learn photography schools, you know, go to a photography school, go to a course, pick up those skills, learn to take great pictures of cars because these things still work. Just a great image of a car can still get you tons of hits and likes and comments, so that alone works. Next step up from that, video. Learn how to create video, learn how to create video content, learn how to edit it. You know, these days you're a one-man band, you have to do everything yourself. Learn the editing software, learn the creation process, learn the production process. Go to film school, go to video courses, learn how to do all of that. It's raining right now, this is great. Fortunately, I've done my photography on this car already, so that's a good thing. If you were following me yesterday, I had an absolute nightmare with rain and sandstorms, and I was trying to shoot a Volkswagen. And those are some of the challenges that we face. Perseverance, patience. Being able to get out there and, you know, not being uh, snobby about wiping the car down and waiting for the weather to subside and doing all of your own stuff yourself. This is all very important. So those skill sets are very important. You know what? And then just create content, put it up there, get out there, meet people, get yourself known. This is the main thing. And, you know, hopefully you're on your way. You're on your way. You know, this is the way to do it now. So anyway, good luck to all of you out there that are going to try it. I wish you all the very best. I do until you start rivaling me and then I wish you all the very worst. <laughs> right? Because that's how it works. Yeah, we're in business. Yeah. But, uh, but this is it. This is the steps. This is how you do it. You know, you ask me what to do. Start like this. Get yourself going. Get yourself out there. Start creating content. I'll see you on the interweb. Oh, talking of interweb, I forgot to say, follow us on MotoringME.com and all the social media. There's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, YouTube. And if you're watching this on YouTube or any of other reviews, please do like, share, and subscribe. Tell all your friends. And while you're at it, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I put a lot of stuff up there and on the Insta stories. Very cool stuff.